Now to the fallout after this week's tornadoes here in North Texas. One of the five tornadoes that touched down destroyed one family's home. And as the owner described to us, it sent him flying. That is Rob Parker used to own his, uh, used his own body to protect his five-year-old daughter when it all happened. While the tornado was ripping apart their Ellis County home right near Waxahachie. We caught up with him tonight just after, in fact, he got out of the hospital. Burkett's reporting. All new at 10 o'clock. Everything's total. It just, it's just, it's total. I mean, it, 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 it wipes us out. My, my, uh, part of my trailer house is in a tree. Rob Parker was home with his five year old daughter Paisley Monday night when the tornado hit. His roof collapsed. He grabbed a blanket and wrapped it around the little girl, put his arms around her, and held on tight. I wasn't going to let her go. You know, she, she's five years old. And and I, I had her wrapped up enough with no, no glass to get her. And I, I grabbed her feet and right there, and I just, I just ducked my head. And, and we went out through there. Next thing I know, I'm 40 yards out through there. Rob left with multiple injuries. Neighbors jumped in to help until medics could get him to the hospital. Incredibly, Paisley only suffered a few scratches. It's amazing. It's a miracle. It's like our prayers have worked. Rob's daughter, Blaze, lives about three hours away. While she couldn't get home to help, she found another way, a GoFundMe that's now raised more than $13,000. I'm so grateful to how many people have wanted to donate clothes and just wanted to donate toys for my sister and even clothes for my dad, too, because, I mean, they both lost everything. I'm just thankful for everybody and thank everybody for what they're doing for us because, you know, we... You know, it's, it's, it's God sent. Brooke Katz, CBS 11 News. If you'd like to help out, the Parker do need as Blaze was talking about some clothing, maybe. She says that Paisley loves books and could maybe use some school supplies as well. We do have a drop off location and more information. If you want to jump in and help out, it's on our website at cbsdfw.com.